Welcome back to Living Our Vision. Today we're going to give you a little tour of our RV, our home on wheels. It's a 2009 diesel pusher. It's a Numar Ventana 3960 floor plan. Let's start with the back here. The back, I mean the dolly. We went with the Car Caddy SS mainly because you can fold it up and save space. As you can see, the tongue folds up and the ramps come up as well. As you can tell from a side view, if that tongue was extended, we wouldn't be able to come back as far, especially in this situation. If those ramps were down and fixed in place, we would still have to have this coming up even further. So it does save a ton of space. We could not go with a four down with our car and we just bought our car like six months before we decided we were gonna go full time RVing. So we decided to go this route with a dolly and this was our best bet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you some of the, the bays and what we have for storage inside the bays. So on this side, as you can see, here's our battery tray, which release this this will slide out to get to the batteries. This is a bay that has our inverter. Next bay, we have our outside TV. This bay, we have extra storage back in there. And then we do have a slide out tray, which is really nice. So you can hold a lot of stuff. And then if I push this back in, it goes all the way through to the other side. And I can go to the other side and pull it out on the other side there. So on the front here in the corner, it's where I store the air hose and this is where you can open up the front. This section here slides forward and you can get access to our generator. The next compartment is a propane tank. And this is where you um, would fill your tank when you pull up. So this is where the slide tray slides out on the other side. It goes all the way through. And then in this compartment, there's more storage, and as you can see, it goes all the way through. This is where our precision temp. It's a tankless water heater, so we always have constant hot water, similar to the Aqua Hot system. This is your, our wet bay. You always have a separate hose for your fresh water and for um, using water for everything else. And this bay is your electrical bay. That's where our power cord goes over to the power meter. And then we have an extra storage bin in here as well. So as you can see, there's plenty of storage. So located on the roof are two 13.5 Penguin heat pump central air conditioners and our HD TV antenna, as well as two fantastic vent fans with rain sensors. All right, well, let's take a look inside. First of all, we have our screen, which this window will slide. I'm gonna shut the whole thing for now. So here we are in the inside with magic happens. All right, so our captain's chairs, obviously, as you can see, they can turn around and also serve for viewing the TV or more seating for when you have people come over, which is nice. They're very cushy chairs. The backs lay back. Um, they, see they recline and they're power seats. You can adjust the arms wherever you want them. Very handy. We have a control center here where we can check our gray tank, our black tank, our LP tank, uh, fresh water tank for when you're boondocking. Um, inverter controls and then various switches for like your slides to retract those. We have more storage up here. We have our Wii Boost or our cell phone signal booster. And more storage up here. We have a rear view camera which you can turn on. It actually runs all the time when you're driving which saved us on the way out here from Texas to California. I was watching our dolly with the car on it going nice and straight and then all of a sudden it started swaying a little bit knew something was wrong, pulled over, went back, checked, sure enough, one of the straps came loose on the right tire. So that left tire was solid, the right one was not, so it was making the car kind of sway, as you can imagine. It was cinched down really tight, somehow it came loose. Came up and scratched the car a little bit. 
it could have been a lot worse. I'm glad if we didn't have that camera, we wouldn't have noticed. One thing that you want to be sure you do, if you have the type of antenna that you have to crank up and down, it must be down when you leave, and it has to be in the, the cradle. So it has two arrows on here, you have to match the arrows up uh, and crank it down. I have a little reminder thing here that I just tie up to the steering wheel. So in the kitchen area, we have some storage in here. These shelves roll out, which they were in various locations. I moved them all down because I'm gonna build a shelf back here because these actually only go so far back they don't utilize all the space and I can finally touch, it goes way back. So I'm gonna build either one or two depending on how tall we want them. And probably two, one taller and one shorter. Didn't want them down here because it's harder obviously to reach back to get something. Storage up here, all of these go way back as well. This refrigerator also runs off of propane, so if you lose electricity or you're dry camping, it'll run off propane. Then we have a convection oven, microwave oven. So that's nice, we haven't had a convection oven before, so it's been nice to use. So then we have our gas stove. All the tops are Corian. One of the things we wish we could have had was bigger counter space, but again, you really make do with what you have. These panels come out, and then if you wanted to take the smaller panel out, you can use a short piece of sink and still have this counter space to work on. It gives you options. And the centerpiece here in the sink, these do not touch. There's actually a gap under here. So if you wanted to replace that whole sink, you could, and which we thought about. We're thinking about replacing this faucet for one that comes out a little further because this one goes back. You have to reach back a ways and then uh, put a stainless steel sink maybe, uh, just a one sink. Then we can still use these as long as it has this outer lip. Um, we have a tea kettle that's an electric pot for heating our water for our coffee, for Michelle's coffee more like. And I uh, have my coffee. Yes. Off. And um, we use that a lot so we don't have to use propane and then we have another one for the gas stove if we're like dry camping and need to use the, uh, the gas stove for that. We gotta have an emergency backup for Michelle and her coffee. Again, gotta have my coffee. We're also out of coffee. <laughs> well, there's plenty of storage really. Um, everybody always says you can Always have more. No compartment here. Our garbage is underneath the sink. There's a subwoofer also under the sink for the surround sound. There's uh, surround sound speakers that were factory in the ceiling. Um, system sounds really good. Now, as far as the kitchen table, normally this is all wide open through here, but we took the kitchen table that normally goes over here and the legs lock in to locking devices on the floor. Just slides right in. Um, that's mainly for traveling. We found this at Costco and it actually folds up. It actually comes up so she can actually work. I keep saying actually. So she can work while she's standing or sitting and she liked it this way so that she can get the view of the front window. Yeah. She can have this big window here and it kind of opens up this big window and it folds up really easily if we need to store it away it works well when we're driving because this slide comes in so that wall behind the driver's seat ends up about right here and all you have is that little bit sticking out so that table can't come forward towards us we have straps that we can strap them down and strap down the, the monitors and this desk or <laughs> this kitchen table comes over here in this spot when we're traveling the sofa, Michelle. So this is a hide -a bed I think that's what they call it. And uh, most hide -a beds are pretty stiff, pretty uncomfortable. But this actually is not too bad. The leather is nice and soft. Um, and it's it's pretty comfortable. This is my position for watching TV. <laughs> and Brian's usually over there in the chair working anyway. Um, but it um, it's really comfortable, you know, for, for a hide -a bed I like it. Um, yeah. Plus. Uh, when we have the windows open, you get the uh, flow of the air through here. Where'd you sit last night? 
Oh, actually, I said over there. Uh, yeah. That was the first time. I Again, this is my assumed position, but I thought I would try it over there. And um, yeah, they're comfortable yeah, chairs as very, well. That's all the same yeah. leather. And she took this footstool and moved it over there. So yeah. She that footstool over there. Now for my working spot. I don't need two monitors. Like I, it'd be nice, but I don't need two monitors. Um, so normally in this floor plan, um, other people have taken this chair out and put a desktop across here and use this as a desk space. We thought about that. We may do that eventually, but right now it's working good for us and she likes her spot over there. So if we do that, we would put the desk here, take this chair, move it where her desk is, still pull the chair out. That way the window view is still wide open. The TV, we replace that with a 50 inch. It was a smaller TV that was inset inside here and um, had a heck of a time trying to figure out how they got that in there. Had to take this panel off up here underneath all those components and um, reach down in and they had it bracketed to the wall with these long bolts that came out this way. So it wasn't uh, wasn't the easiest getting the old one out, but it was an LCD TV, got hot, uses more energy, especially if you're running off of your inverter. The LED is much more efficient. You have all LED lights throughout. Luckily the previous owner uh, changed all of those out. Uh, this color scheme we really liked, I think that's what really drew us to it, we, even though I've always told Michelle I can change the tile to whatever we want. They don't want to see my feet. <laughs> <laughs> we have a central vac system here where it opens up. I'm going to change this. So I put this in for an HDMI port, hooked it up to the TV so that I can hook this to my laptop. That way, after I'm done editing or during editing, just to get a a better view of what it's going to look like and sound like. Follow me down our hallway with a nice picture window. Um, we like having the dough here. Uh, it adds light through the hallway because these can be pretty dark through here. Um, this is the bathroom. Uh, this was one of our uh, downfalls. Of downfall, yeah. Um, it's a smaller bathroom. Um, you know different floor plans and all different kinds of RVs. Uh, this is one of the smallest bathrooms we saw, but um, it was kind of low on our had to have list uh, because we wanted to make sure that the uh, living area up here had enough working space uh, for Brian and I both to be working in. So we are adapting. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's a uh, it's fairly small. The one thing that it does have that was high on our probably one of the top on our list to have is a washer and dryer, um, stackable. Um, some RVs come with a uh, combo unit, um, kind of looks like this, but it's a washer and dryer all in one. We've never used one of those, not familiar with them, but we do like the stackable um, because obviously you can start another load in the wash when you have one in the dryer. And then they show them the shelf that actually pulls out Oh yeah, out this too. Um, does have a little shelf. It pulls that, out to set your clothes on. Yeah, to dirt. fold yeah. them or whatever when they come out of the dryer. Not enough room really to fold them. Yeah. <laughs> um, the shower is uh, a little small. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a short person. I thought it was going to be too small, but it's actually been working out really <laughs> yeah. well. I mean, um, I have no issues. Uh, I can move around, whatever. Um, and uh, But it doesn't have much, you know, obviously that's our only little shelf. So we went, uh, Brian installed the dispenser. That's what I was looking for. The shower head has an on and off switch to it so that when you have your faucet on and because of lack of space in here, uh, when you need to have the water off to lather your hair and your body, you just flip that really quick and turns it off and then flip back on to rinse off. And then you have um, Oh, the uh, fan vent. Fantastic vent. Yeah. Fan. And so. sometimes the view's like this. Or a view like this in the shower. Not this view. So obviously having the fan running will cut down on your humidity. Uh, it does have the automatic closure for if it senses rain. So that's nice. And then the sink vanity is about as small as the bathroom. So this is all we have for our vanity uh, as a woman. 
who uses makeup and does her hair and everything. Um, that was probably one of the things I had to get used to, but again, we learned to adapt and make it work. And I just have like a small little makeup bag that I use, take out what I need at the time when I put my makeup on. Um, same with hair dryer, cur uh, curling iron, just one at a time. Yep, we have storage up above and uh, medicine cabinet, medicine cabinet uh, storage down below, yep. electrical outlet, there's your controls yeah. for your fantastic mm -hmm. vent. Uh, commode censored <laughs> and um, and then in the hallway we get to see our picture that our granddaughter made us right before we left we treasure this so much <laughs> and then we have our pictures that we get to look at every morning in the hallway so every time we walk by we take a look at our sweet granddaughter Mia Hi Mia, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> then we have our bedroom. So the bedroom was one thing that I was a little worried about. I don't know why. But the house we came from, we had a lot of space. Big master. Yeah, had a big, huge master bedroom that you could do yoga in. <laughs> but you really adapt. You get up every day, you don't even think twice about it. It just it seems easy to make do with what you have. Uh, I can get in and out of bed really easily. No problems. We have a couple switches for lights, so we each have our own light switch. I have Alexa up here mounted so that she's close. I can just reach up and touch the buttons, volume or whatever. She's turning to talk. I had her down real low. We have our closet here. My clothes, this little section here. We have an area for shoes hanging. My shoes. Notice he said his little yeah. section. For yeah, clothes. so then from this point, <laughs> All the way over to the next uh, zip code, we have Michelle's <laughs> clothes. With the exception of part of the end there is oh. our uh, coats. Yeah, part of the end is one of my coats oh, with the rest one. of her coats. <laughs> oh, I'm two, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I brought now, too many clothes. Uh, most men are probably like me, you can get by with very little. But we have our dresser drawers also, our jeans. We have storage in here. If Probably. we wanted to, we could put a um, washer combo in here and still have a shelf probably above. But we kind of like that better in there, to be honest with you, because we'd rather have more storage in our bedroom. And having the washer and dryer in the bathroom, it's just better than have it running in our bedroom. If we ever needed to escape, it's here. We would pull out these two handles, pop the window out, and die for our life. Um, Hope to God that never happened. Yes. Storage under the bed. I don't know if you can see that very well in this area, but over there, um, the central vac hose is stored in here. And the mattress to the bed is awesome. It's a sleep number, sleep number mattress. And it has like a um, memory foam pad on the top of it as well so uh, we have slept the best we've probably slept in the last 10 years since we've been literally here i was shocked we love this bed <laughs> yeah but yeah it's been working out really good i don't sleep the greatest anyway so i was a little concerned but it's been working out really good yeah. i'm very happy with that uh, we had a what would you call it a spontaneous Spon very idea spontaneous. to buy hats. Yeah, well, it kind of <laughs> started with this one. She's always looking for a hat okay, that so she I have a small buys. And <laughs> she I'm buys a hat and it sits on the shelf and she never wears it again. Right. Well, I That's have this thing for fedoras and I had to get it. Now I haven't worn it since, except every once in a while I'll come in and put it on. If you saw a picture of his Uncle Frank, Back in the 50s. It was just, just like his uncle Frank. <laughs> <laughs> One day, they're going about their affairs and boom! The lava covers everything. That's our tour of our home on wheels. Like I said, it is a 2009 Newmar Ventana, the 3960 floor plan. It's a diesel pusher. It has the 350 Cummins. For our first coach, uh, we have been very happy with it. We didn't know what to expect. We never had an RV before, but uh, we are pretty pretty happy with it. Yeah, we highly recommend you do your own research. Um, buying new or buying used, it, it's really mixed opinions mm -hmm. there. No matter if you get a used or new, 
uh, uh, motor home, fifth wheel travel trailer, you're going to have issues. Yeah. Sometimes you can buy a used one from somebody that really takes really good care. Mm -hmm. They've done a lot of the repairs for you, um, updated a lot of stuff, and because there's there's people out there that really care about what they sell somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of dealers out there and a lot of individuals you can't say the same about. So just do your research yeah. and keep looking and you'll you'll find something. When we were selling our house, we had somebody come in and put an offer in, we accepted it, and they needed to be moved in yeah. in three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. So we were rushing. We already saw this coach, but it wasn't everything that we wanted, but we liked it. It was high on the list, mm -hmm. but we kept looking and couldn't find anything. So then we just said, let's just buy this one. This will do us for now. We've, we really yeah. like it. Yeah. We're enjoying it. Um, and you know, it depends on uh, what you feel your needs are. I mean, we, we were going into this uh, knowing this was going to be our full-time life. We were living in the coach for full-time. Um, Which we love, by the way. Yeah. And you know, some people may just uh, want to travel on the weekends or, you know, uh, during the winter months and whatever, but you know, it's really just what you're preferences are, what you need to do your research for. So that pretty much wraps it up. If we didn't cover something that you have questions on, feel free to comment down below and ask away. Yeah. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe down below. We really appreciate your support. And click the bell to be notified of our next upcoming video. The little bell, if you click that, it will notify you when we release new videos. Mm -hmm. But now that we have committed to every Saturday yeah. at 9 a.m. Central Scary. Time, uh, you can count on there will be a video every Saturday morning. Thanks again. Thanks. We'll catch you soon. Bye.